Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today I wanted to show you the Sapphire HD4830. It's an ATI graphics card. This is part of my hardware reviews for building a performance gaming PC. This graphics card actually uses a similar architecture as the 4850, but with less streamed processors. 640 running at 575 MHz, but it's got 512 megs of DDR3 run, running at 900 MHz, which is actually 1.8 GHz. It's got a built-in unified video decoder for playing those Blu-ray DVDs, for example. And here's a chart, which I'm going to be comparing more in detail in my next video when I actually install the cards between the 4830, for example, and its competitor from NVIDIA, the 9800 GT. There's not that much difference, but we'll see later on what the benchmarks say. Now, if we look at the card here, you can see that it's got a heat sink and a fan on it. Sapphire decided to use its own cooler instead of using the infamous standard cooler designed by ATI or AMD now. Uh, but you can see here that it's occupying two slots, right? So it's, it's quite wide, right? Instead of it being one slot. So just keep that in mind. If you actually take it off, you'll see the copper center. Now, if we look at the card from the other side, nothing fancy there. Uh, there's uh, the two ports that we see here for the DVIs and also one S-Video TV out in the middle. And as we turn it over to the side here, I'm going to show you something interesting. There's a blue little jumper. It says PAL and then NTSC. So that proves there that by default it does support different countries that have different standards for uh, delivering the uh, video. Now look here. There's the uh, crossfire connectors, right? There's your bridge. You can get your bridge connectors and put up the four HD4830s uh, if you have an AMD 790FX uh, motherboard. Okay. So so this uses the PCI Express version 2.0 connection, the uh, 16X, of course. Now, um, when you really look at this card, it's it's basically a capped HD 4850. So it's running at little lower clock rates, having a little bit less graphic processors, but it's giving you just as much performance as, as the 4850. And the funny thing is that the, the, um, the memory, you can overclock that, right? So you can almost get this card to run as a 4850. Now keep in mind that it's going to need additional power so you're going to have to plug in that 6-pin PCI Express power connector. If for some reason you've got an older power supply that doesn't have that, um, the box uh, actually has a connector for it. Okay, So don't worry about it. It has the plug so you can put that 6-pin uh, connector into your regular Molex um, uh, type of plug for, for a regular um, older power supply. So this will sure come in handy at one point. Now the other thing that it comes with are two adapters. The first one being the DVI to VGA. Okay, so for those of you who have an older VGA monitor, for example, then you could obviously use this card. Okay, so um, don't think that just because it has the DVI uh, plugs here that you can't use a VGA monitor. You can. Okay, so uh, go right ahead and use that and you can have an LCD and uh, an analog uh, VGA monitor plugged in if you want it. So uh, that's one adapter. The um, other adapter that it comes with is a DVI to HDMI output. So that's so that you can get your true HDTV high def um, uh, video, for example. Okay, so maybe you're playing your Blu rays, maybe you're playing uh, a video file that is uh, 1080, 1080i, uh, maybe you're playing something that has. Um, 7.1 surround sound so you can plug that in directly to those types of devices that have uh, HDMI. Now the other plug here obviously the uh, composite to uh, uh, S-Video so that way for those who have an older TV for example you can plug that in and that's obviously why we call it TV out right so for the older TVs you can plug this neat little thing into there and uh, and watch uh, whatever you're doing on, uh, on a regular older uh, tube. Now, obviously, for those who have a high def connection, you can use the S video to component video cable. So that's what this is, right? These three colors for each color, high def color going out of the S video into your component video in on your TV set, for example. And uh, looking at the package, well, nothing special, right? It comes with the CDs, those components, those cables that I just told you. No games, though. Okay, uh, that's about it. That's the package. I'm going to be actually installing, setting up the software, benchmarking, and tweaking this in my next video. Okay, so stay tuned for that. 
Uh, thanks, uh, Sapphire, for providing me this video to test, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.